seems harder to find empty roads to sling a sports sedan on these days. Most of us don't get up at the crack of dawn to experience open conditions like this. Many of our miles are covered on clogged highways. Uh, sorry to be a killjoy. The Genesis G80 Sport could be a wise choice for pragmatic enthusiasts who won't attend track day or need badge cachet. If after watching this video you decide to test drive a G80 Sport, you'll be doing it at a Hyundai dealership because there are no dedicated Genesis showrooms built yet. If you decide to buy it, you'll never have to return because a Genesis agent will come by your house or office, drop off a loaner, and bring your car in for servicing. And yes, they'll return it too. All scheduled maintenance is gratis for three years or 36,000 miles. But you're probably more interested in what makes sport uh, more sporty. Well, standard G80s are powered by a naturally aspirated V6 or V8. The Sport moves with a 3.3 liter twin turbocharged V6. 365 horsepower and 376 pound-feet of torque are at your beck and call. I'm not a huge fan of electronic selectors, uh, this one's okay. Genesis says the 8-speed automatic transmission is a second generation unit. The suspension gets continuously active dampening and modes. Rear drive is standard, the all-wheel drive on this car adds 2500 bucks. Off the line there's the slightest hesitation, really not much to speak of. Zero to 60 miles an hour happens in a little over five seconds, so the Sport definitely has the velocity thing down. And since torque comes on early in the rev range, then keeps delivering as the needle climbs, the Turbo 6 offers confidence for passing slow-moving trucks on two-lane roads, even uphill. The adaptive dampers make a big difference on the G80. This is a luxury sports sedan that puts a premium on the luxury side of the ride dynamic. Yes, there are lower profile tires, but the suspension takes the edge off sharp bumps while keeping body roll and dive to a minimum. Maybe because it's so hushed and comfortable, sport doesn't fully engage the driver. If you're looking for the kind of engine growl that comes out of the Cadillac CTS-V or BMW M3, nope, this is a pretty quiet car, which would make it a great grand tour. Did I say M3? I meant M5. After a hard day at the office, Sports Dynamic just might offer the perfect balance, and with adaptive cruise control that works to a full stop, it tames traffic jams when it can't eat up the open road. There's automatic emergency braking with pedestrian detection and cross-path detection too. Now, some might question the pedigree of the 80s since this car began life as the Hyundai Genesis and was spruced up a couple notches. So the question is, does the G80 have any real business being marketed as a premium sedan? I think so. It's a very, very well done vehicle. And then there's price. Other than color and all-wheel drive, G80 Sport pretty much only comes one way, loaded. That includes this Vista roof that will certainly impress the back passengers. With all-wheel drive, this car retails for $58,725. Uh, that's not cheap, but easily ten grand under a comparably equipped Audi A6, which, let's face it, has instant brand credibility. The brakes? are beefed up from the standard G80. As for fuel economy, well, this is a powerful car and hefty too, approaching 4,700 pounds. Overall, I saw 20 miles per gallon on specified premium gasoline. Pressed into Genesis service, one notable upgrade is this space. Good because it's what owners see the most of. Copper stitching coordinates with exterior trim. Interesting to see something other than silver and black put to use. The cabin leans towards a traditional luxury look. Of course, this being a sport, there's carbon fiber trim. I uh, wonder if that's a law. The seats, with just enough bolstering to keep drivers from sliding around in hard turns, are heated, vented, and ready to take on people of all shapes and sizes. The user interface is pretty easy to master, and there's a choice of using this controller or your fingertips. Nice to have the choice. There are just the right number of hard buttons and knobs. My ears find the Lexicon sound system to be good, but not as dynamic as I would have hoped. Android Auto and Apple CarPlay are on board too.
The back seat is very roomy. If your friends complain, you need to stop hanging around with NBA players. Like all G80s, the Sport has generous foot and leg room. Both seat backs have pockets. Forget your Ray-Bans? Genesis has you covered. Plus, there are toasty cushions for the outboard positions. The only real gripe here is no power port. I would like to see more USB jacks in this car. The back end hasn't been re-engineered, so I'm using the trunk test from the standard G80. Seat backs are fixed, but at least the cargo hold is large. A seven-pack score is pretty good. As for design, this has always been a sleek machine, even when it wore Hyundai badges. It has a very planted and grounded visual. Other than the grille that looks like it was cribbed from Audi, this Genesis has its own strong look. These are full LED with dynamic bending when cornering. Drivers that get up early on Sunday mornings to discover empty and challenging roads are likely to choose a pure performance sedan. Uh, it depends on what you want out of a car. Those who enjoy a good amount of engagement, value, and sleeping in will find a lot to like in this car. G80 Sport is a luxury sports sedan that tilts solidly towards the pampering side. If you want to add a competitor to the stack, that includes the 5 Series, A6, E-Class, CTS, GS, and S90, there's also another Korean, the Kia Stinger. It's available with a 3.3-liter twin-turbocharged V6 with 365 horsepower and 376 pound-feet of torque. Sound familiar? Plus an 8-speed automatic. Sound familiar? And a choice of rear or all-wheel drive and adaptive suspension. Uh, okay, I won't say sound familiar, but obviously the two share a lot. I've driven the Stinger. Great car. It's sold as a Grand Tourer. I find it more athletic than the G80 Sport in both design and performance. Check out the review on my channel. If you want a smaller Genesis sedan, and one that is supposedly going to be even sportier than this one, you'll want to wait till the spring of 2018 for the new G70, which competes against the likes of the BMW 3 Series. Now, what this brand really needs is, of course, crossovers, but those are coming, possibly with the new showrooms. But in the meantime, it's always good to have another sports sedan to choose from. Competition is great. That's Driven. I'm Tom Volk.